So, if you are living an extreme life where everything melting down and freezes out at the same time, yet you are still alive and you want to use your smartphone, then Ulefone offers a fantastic choice. Now on the surface, it's pretty well presented and it's time to pick the phone out. And my first impression is, wow, this phone is hefty and very massive. But the screen is relatively standard in size and measures only 6.81 inches. The screen type is Full HD with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels. The phone's display is protected by temporary glass, which is a nice touch. Okay, leaving the smartphone behind for a few seconds to continue our unboxing. And within the package we will get this instruction manual, temporary glass screen protector, warranty, etc. While down there we get this fast charger on 33 watts with Type-C port, eye-catching Type-C cable in red color, USB to Type-C extender, and Type-C to USB cable. And that was unboxing. Now let's take a look at this smartphone itself. And do I need to mention again that this phone is massive and weighty. To compare, take a look at my iPhone C and the Ulefone Armor 13. Leaving the comment section empty, feel free to drop the comments. Ulefone Armor 13 features a bunch of stuff. I want to mention that this phone is built with an infrared distance measurement tool to measure the distance without the tape measurement. There is a dual SIM card slot with a TIFI port where you can insert two SIM cards or one SIM card and one TIFI card. And you might be wondering what this thing does. Well, those pins for flexible endoscopes. I can show you how it works. So connect them here. and explore the places where you can insert this thing. It's up to your imagination. But I bought this RC car. But keep in mind, this endoscope is not included in the package and if you need them, you will need to purchase them separately. Down there is a place for headphone jack and Type-C charger. At the back we got this speaker placement and of course this quad camera with flashlight. The main one is 48 megapixel and the rest for macro and wide angles. I want to say that this phone's main features are ragged durability and some extra utility extension tools, but there is more to cover. First, the battery capacity, which is 13,200 milliampere. That's a three times more power for the phones in this price range. Second, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Yep, you heard me right, this phone equipped with 8GB of RAM, so your multitasking, your gaming will be much more smoother. Plus, here the CPU is Helio G95, which is the latest CPU for the phones in this price range. And then, this one also equipped with 256GB of storage. And this phone also runs on Android 11, which is the latest Android. So saving files, installing many apps, using this phone as a hammer, the nail, uh, gaming, use as utility tool, you have no problem. 